past 12 and a half years that I've been in a classroom, I've always been surrounded by books and textbooks. When we all came into high school in 2013, we were all given a curve book, which I thought was going to be a good thing, but obviously it wasn't. Coming into high school was a major change for me because I really didn't know anything about technology other than my cell phone. Throughout middle school, I was able to maintain straight A's and it was easy for me, but freshman year, my grades were very good and I struggled a lot. I had a difficult time adjusting to the use of technology rather than the use of textbooks and classrooms. I had such a difficult time because I was out of my element and I wasn't able to prepare for it. When my sophomore year started, I started using my um, Chromebook as least as possible and I noticed that my grades started to gradually come up. Um, I then realized that textbooks are the best way to learn basic subjects that would set me up for my more, more advanced classes that I'm taking now and that I took last year. Ever since I was able to shift my focus more on or textbooks than my technology, I have been able to maintain A's and B's throughout my sophomore, junior, and first half of my senior year. Since our school has integrated more technology into it, we have suffered from a lot of Wi-Fi problems, a lot of broken computers, and a lot of stressed out teachers and students. Textbooks should remain the main source of learning for all students in any classroom. Textbooks do play a vital role in education, but many people believe that new technology is the best way for a better education. Even though textbooks have been around since the 16th century, many people believe that the best tool for a great education is technology. There are many reasons why people believe that we should integrate more technology and get rid of textbooks in the classrooms. Textbooks can be outdated because they don't have like updated news and statistics that the internet can provide us. And on a tablet, if you have a book, they can be updated instantly, as with a textbook, we're kind of stuck with the same information. Um, FCC Secretary of Education Arnie Duncan says, too many students are using books that are seven to 10 years old with outdated material. Tablets also have features that textbooks don't have. In a tablet, if you're reading something, you can highlight it without ruining it. Like if you're reading out of a textbook and you highlight it, it would ruin it for the next user. There's also a search function where you can look up information, which makes it a lot easier than if you were using a textbook where you would have to go to a dictionary. You can also look up videos to increase creativity, motivation, attentiveness, attentiveness and engagement with classroom materials. I believe that these people are being closed-minded and focused on wanting to fit in with society. Textbooks are the best tool for education. Just because people believe that technology is the best doesn't mean that everybody likes to use it. Textbooks are causing students to comprehend more, remember more, and learn more than those who use technology in the classroom. Isn't our school-wide goal to get up to an A school? Well, textbooks are the answer to that because studies have shown that students learn better from a textbook than they do from technology. Technology is seen as a great learning tool, but in all reality, it is lowering the learning ability for all students. Students are also having lower critical thinking ability because it's easy for us to cheat. If we get a worksheet, we can just look up the answers. Or if we have to read a book, we can just look up summaries because we're becoming lazy. We can easily avoid reading and analyzing text. So if we're supposed to read a book but we look up the summaries, we are missing a lot of vital information. So how are students even learning anything new when using technology in the classroom? People need to realize that textbooks have been around or have been successful in the past and they will continue to be successful in the future. Textbooks are cheaper than technology and it not only affects the students but it also affects the parents that are responsible for paying for it. Textbooks are reliable. They cannot crash, they cannot freeze, and they cannot get hacked. They also don't have a battery that can die on us. If our textbook breaks or tears, it can be fixed with simple supplies like tape. Textbooks don't have any distractions. We can't be playing games, we can't email, and we can't chat our friends. Textbooks of the past had a huge impact on education. Textbooks not only reflected exam board syllabuses, they influenced them. Textbooks were and still are the best curriculum. Textbooks determine the level to which students work to learn. Don't just continue to use technology in the class because it's what we are recommended to be doing and it's what most people are doing. Textbooks are the past, present, and future of our education.
folks to the middle schools. Do you think that'll like help the transition to high school more? Yeah, definitely. Because in middle school, we like we had computer class like for a little bit every day, so that's all the computers we got to use. But now that middle schoolers are being able to use them. Science classes, I know we do a lot of like virtual labs, which I think is a good thing. Or if you're writing a research paper, that's good too, obviously. You can look up the stuff. Do you think we should have a different device other than Chromebook? I think we should because.